2 bit up counter design and implementation using a circuit lock let us try to design this particular synchronous counter by using positive edge trigger so first step is we have to draw the state diagram so as i am saying that this is up counter up counter and it is of size 2 bit if it is 2 bit it will have 2 power n states which is nothing but 2 power 2 so 4 states will be there which is 0 1 2 and 3 as it is up counter we will start with 0 we will go to 1 from 1 to 2 2 to 3 and again 3 will come back to 0 the same thing I have indicated by means of the state diagram here this circle will indicate state so as 2 bit 4 states so I have taken 4 circles so this is 0 0 which is nothing but equivalent for 0 so 0 0 is nothing but equivalent of 0 0 1 is nothing but 1 1 0 is 2 1 1 is 3 so whenever a clock appears the information gets changed and that is the state gets changed from one state to another so during the first clock pulse it will change from 0 to 1 from 0 it will come to 1 again during the next clock pulse it will change from 1 to 2 2 to 3 and again 3 it will go back to 0 this is nothing but state diagram of 2 bit up counter second step is state transition table here it contains present state and next state so why i am taking as q1 and q0 means because it is 2 bit of size so that's the reason i am taking most significant bit as q1 least significant bit as q0 and as it is next state if i want next state i'll indicate as q1 plus and q0 plus the same thing i've taken it in the form of table and here this is 0 1 2 and 3 as it is up counter from 0 it will go to 1 so from 0 it is going to 1 next from 1 it will go to 2 from 2 it will go to 3 from 3 it will go to 0 I have filled this particular state transition table by seeing the state diagram third step is excitation table as I am designing this particular 2 bit synchronous up counter by using SR flip flop here I am making use of the excitation table of SR flip flop so present state and next state that is q1 and q1 plus 1 and this is nothing but the input values so you have to remember this particular excitation table in order to perform this particular step so here it contains present state next state and flip flop so as it is 2 bit it is q1 q0 next state is nothing but q1 plus q0 plus so two flip flops s1 r1 is first one h0 r0 is the second flip flop now let us fill this particular table by seeing the excitation table so present states are 0 0 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 and next state is from 0 it will go to 1 from 1 it will go to 2 from 2 it is going to 3 from 3 it is going to 0 that's what we have indicated it from the previous step 0 to 1 1 to 2 2 to 3 again 3 it will go back to 0 now see here we have to compare q1 and q1 plus so for 0 0 check this table for 0 0 it is 0 and x the same thing i wrote here for the first flip flop s1 r1 so while you are comparing q1 q1 plus you need to fill s1 and r1 next for 0 and 1 see here for 0 and 1 it is 1 0 the same thing i have written here 1 0 next for 1 and 1 for 1 and 1 i am getting x 0 so this is x this is 0 next for 1 0 for 1 0 it is 0 1 so i have taken as 0 1 similarly let us compare q0 q0 plus and we shall fill s0 and r0 so for 0 1 for 0 1 it is 1 0 1 0 for 1 0 for 1 0 it is 0 1 0 1 similarly for 0 and 1 again 0 and 1 it is 1 0 next for 1 0 for 1 0 it is 0 1 the same thing we have filled it here now let us take the min terms for s1 r1 h0 and r0 so this is 0 1 2 and 3 so for s1 
for s1 the min terms are nothing but 1 and don't care is 2 so min term is 1 don't care is 2 similarly for r1 so for 0 i am getting don't care for 0 don't care and 3 is a min term so 3 is a min term so min term is always integrated by means of 1 x is nothing but don't care similarly for h0 the min terms are nothing but 0 and 2 for r0 it is 1 and 3 the same thing i have written here now by using this s1 r1 h0 and r0 we need to do the k map let us do the k map for s1 i'll use this particular thing for s1 this one for r1 so 1 is a min term 1 is the min term 2 is a don't care and for r1 3 is a min term 0 is a don't care next grouping so here only single is possible so the answer for this one will be q1 bar dot q0 similarly for this one the answer will be q1 q0 so i am following sop format where 0 is bar 1 is normal so you need to check this particular value on this one so 0 is nothing but q1 bar 1 is nothing but q0 Similarly here, these two you have to check which is Q1 and Q0. So let me write the answers for S1 and R1. So S1 is Q1 bar dot Q0. R1 is nothing but Q1, Q0. Now let us do the K-map for S0 and R0. So this is S0. This is R0. For S0, min terms are nothing but 0 and 2. 0 and 2 are the min terms here for r0 1 and 3 1 and 3 so do the grouping so one pair is possible the answer for this one will be 0 which is nothing but q0 bar next take the answer for this it, this one will be q0 so we got h0 is q0 bar r0 is q0 by using the answers of k map we have to draw the logic diagram that is the last step so always the first flip flop will be least significant bit and the last one will be most significant bit so let me take here as s0 r0 q0 q0 bar most significant bit is s1 r1 q1 and q1 bar so as it is synchronous the clock will be same so let, let us make the connection at the end so the answer for s1 is q1 bar dot q0 so we have to take one and gate here inputs are q1 bar q0 similarly for r1 it is q1 dot q0 so one more and gate we have to take next the answers for h0 and r0 are q0 bar and q0 as this one is synchronous clock should be connected at same point this is a final logic diagram of 2 bit synchronous up counter using sr flip flop where i am making use of positive edge trigger so in the upcoming videos we shall try to write the verilog code for this particular counter in xilinx isc thank you